you know? How does it make you feel to have it again? Like you get to you get to a point and you're like, yes, okay, we've reached a resolution. Mm -hmm. And then down the road it happens again. Like I guess moving forward, you know, if, if we can get this resolved, how's, how are you gonna feel that even after you have a resolution? Uh, I don't know if it's... I, I, I don't know if I, maybe I can answer that. I feel like if you're comparing it to um, last contract negotiations, mm -hmm. I think that that was tough as well. Um, but this contract negotiations has been different from day one. Um, I, uh, one, I think we got dates the last contract we negotiated. It was extremely difficult, but they did bargain across okay. the table with us. We may not have agreed back then on certain things, but we were able to get to a, a, a settlement okay. um, that we all could live with. Yeah. This time, um, we couldn't get dates from day one. Um, and then when we got dates, we'd come here and they, they wouldn't even, you know, the attorney wouldn't show up. <laughs> uh, and then when we do uh, have dates that we negotiate across the table, the conduct that they display across the table is just appalling. Um, How, you know, can you give me anything? I don't want to get into the specifics of um, their behavior. Okay. Um, we did file charges uh, for bad faith bargaining. Um, for the things that you know, they obviously you know displayed at the table and across the table. But there's been times where we uh, have a session, the conduct at the table, or we're here a few hours and they leave. For example, we gave them a proposal on our health care plan August 31st. We got an answer November 3rd. That behavior didn't happen, I don't believe, um, at the last contract negotiations. You so said you had an answer November 4th? 3rd. 3rd, sorry. Um, <coughs> pretty long time to have yeah, a contract that's, proposal. <laughs> it's quite a long time. Um, right. You know, I don't know if this is something else that you could speak on. Is this, <coughs> negotiations tend to not, I mean, sometimes they aren't a pleasant thing. Like we, sure. I mean, I work in a newspaper where you have a sure. union, and it's not always a pleasant thing. Sure. Um, sometimes it is really difficult, but, mm -hmm. You know, how does this compare, like, with what you see them doing here, with what maybe you see in other places? Because you have, you know, a more broad scope. Her experience is just with PMMC. Mm -hmm. You're, you may see how other how other places negotiate. I mean, how does this how does this rank? Uh, uh, you want me to rank it? Uh, I can <laughs> I mean, say, not, not well, here I can put it. I guess I can in put your it. your experience. In my experience, I've negotiated over a dozen contracts, and this actually is the first strike notice that we've had to issue. Um, for unfair labor practice charges, oh. okay, uh, and so I think for us, uh, for negotiating is always a complex issue because we have priorities and uh, uh, big concerns. Our members, I mean, meaning when I say we, meaning our members, yeah. uh, have concerns that they want to address and improve. Um, we know that the hospitals as well need to make some changes and improvements, and they're sometimes difficult decisions. But I, we usually are, are, you know, come to a at the end of the day, we come to an agreement that we all can live with. And we have, I, I think in this situation, I, like we have two dates, the 24th and the 30th. We, how do we know they're gonna come? They say they're gonna come, but they said they, they're gonna come again. We, so it's hard, we're willing and able and committed, I believe the mm -hmm. members of Pottstown committed to work towards a resolution and come to a settlement that we all could live with, but we need the employer in the room to bargain in good faith with us. Yes. <laughs> to do that. What would be your next step after a strike if that doesn't bring them back to the table? I think what we're trying to do is take one step at a time. If we obviously are going to strike in, in December, that's the plan. We have these two dates. We're committed to try to resolve and come to a settlement. That's our hope. Um, and at this point, I'm not going to elaborate what's going to transpire afterwards. We're going to take one step at a time and try to work uh, towards a settlement.